now, please welcome to the blue corner from Greece, Yanis Papadopoulos. So Yanis Papadopoulos making his way to the ring. And Dave Benson is a man that you saw at the second kickboxing Grand Prix out in Greece. Yep, certainly. Yanis, uh, very good hands, good boxer, solid, solid uh, style. This should be interesting. Yanis Papadopoulos. He's up against a, a veteran of the sport now. And now, please welcome to the red corner from Bromley, England, Jason Young. What a man there on your screen making a welcome return to the ring, Jason Young, out of action since being released from Ultimate Fighting Championships in 2012. Came back to the gym at 90 kilos. He has been in the gym for the last four years, but it was just a day where Kieran Kevill, his coach, who just helped him into the ring, said, why don't you fight again? Jason Yeons! He said he's felt good, technically better than ever, a real student of the game, and he said he's a smarter, more tactically astute fighter. And welcome back to the ring, Jason Young. And ladies and gentlemen, this KGP rules bout will take place in the minus 70 kilogram division. And will be contested over three three-minute rounds. In the event of a draw, there will be a fourth deciding round. Introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 70 kilograms exactly. He's representing Arena TC Gym with a record of 10 fights, nine wins, one loss. From Greece, it's Giannis Papadopoulos. And opposing him, fighting out of the red corner at yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 73 kilograms. He brings an MMA record of 10, 10 wins with six defeats, but with one K1 striking fight and win. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Double K, Jim in Bromley, Kent, England, it's Jason Shotgun! Yeah! Okay, fire, send the ring. All right, guys, you both understand the rules, you're fine under pro K1 rules, both understand those rules. We're going to have a knockdown, make sure you go to your corner, or we're not beginning to count until you do so. Touch gloves, back to your corners, please. Good joke. So the referee, Jesse Saunders there, giving the final instructions to okay, ready? Jason ready? Young, the former ready? UFC fighter out of Double K Gym in the red corner. Man with a tattoo on his back, both in the same attire. Janice Papadopoulos is... Well, He's up against it here, against the man who's got a lot of experience at a very, very high level, Dave. Yeah, Yanis has been more active recently. Jason had a lot of time out, I think four years, but he said himself he's been in the gym that entire time, learning and evolving and adding to his game, and we're going to see a totally different fighter tonight. So it interests me. Papadopoulos, uh, good, good kickboxer, solid style, moves very well, and uh, like I said before, Good hands. Well, Young became a professional fighter in 2006. Fought first of his five right, right, opponents right, right. in his career in cage rage contenders. Built up a record of four and one there. Then moved on to three fights in Ultimate Challenge MMA. And he was soon picked up by the UFC. He was a late replacement, came in and he lost his debut by unanimous decision. But he did pick up a win in 2011. Young. Unanimous decision over Eric Wisely. Young just switching stance there, mixing his game up, trying to be unpredictable. Making uh, Yanis think. Nice stiff left hand from Southpaw there from Young. Although well, four years isn't hugely long amount of time in terms of just the, the everyday man, Dave. When you've been out of, when you've been so active for 
five or six years, that can be a long time to be out. And well, just maybe first signs of ring rust for Jason Young, just getting himself back into the swing of things, finding his timing and range. It is a different thing being out here under the lights than it is in sparring. Well, that's exactly what you just picked up on is, is ring rust. And it's Yanis having fought very recently, should have his timing, should have his distance right, should be able to pick his shots better. But Young doing very well here. Doesn't look, doesn't look too rusty to me. Nice kick to the body, takes a counter right hand though, but he's taken them well. With 35 seconds to go in this opening round. Jason just looks a bit stronger to me when he comes forward with his hands. Doesn't get taken off balance. And he's taken some relatively clean shots in this opening round too, and nothing seems to have troubled him. And I suppose, Dave, once you've taken the Ooh. best shots of your opponent and you know that your head's clear, that gives you some confidence to walk forwards and take a few more risks. Yeah, very much so. And round one is where you've got all the power. And I think Jason felt Giannis Papadopoulos' power and thought, OK, I can deal with this. Let's have it. Let's come forward. Papadopoulos, yes, the look of a man that's uh, taken a few whacks there and looks a little bit the more uncertain of the two. Didn't start badly. Yeah, that stiff right hand over the top from Young and just started to himself find his timing and rhythm as the contest grew on. It really was a, a baptism of fire that he entered into the UFC Championships out of his four contests, three defeats and a victory. And he was a young man too, so after that, I imagine disappointment being released by the biggest fight organization in the world, and you can understandably see why he may have taken some time out. But good to see him back in the ring. Round number two. Go, check it out. Let's go, guys. Check it out. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Great corner, just doing uh, very well at giving their man a little, couple extra seconds there. Well, that was a high-paced yeah. opening round, and you can just see the effect that it had when he sat down. Papadopoulos uh, having to work a lot harder than Young, and big leather being exchanged now. Well, Young trading with him, but he doesn't really look like he got out of second or maybe even third gear in that opening round whereas I think Papadopoulos had to go a little bit further into the tank early yep agreed whether that will just start to pay dividends for Young as this one wears on we'll have to wait and see but Papadopoulos again coming forward throwing the leather but Young just seems happy to cover up and absorb that for now knows that perhaps his time will come a little bit later on in the round yeah they're trying to work to the body and that was a lovely left hook to the body which woke Young up and Brought him out from the ropes. They're working a lot to Jason Young's body, the Greeks. He's managed to back him up, Papadopoulos, so credit to him. Goes in with the high kick, but now Young just brings it more centrally. Nearly sweeps the front leg. Yeah, this Greek is no pushover. Told you he can bang. Nice left hook, though, and I think... Just a sign that Papadopoulos is starting to unravel. Another clean shot might just tell us what the damage is. His hands are coming away a little bit as he's taking shots from Jason Young now. Yeah, just a moment there, wasn't there, where Papadopoulos took a couple of hard shots upstairs. Looked like the legs might go, but he's got them back underneath him. Sticks the left hook into the body again, but Young responds to body and then to head. Good exchange of body shots from both men now. Oh, it's exciting to watch, isn't it, this? Just can't take your eyes off the action for a second. Look at Young putting his whole body weight into these shots now. He's really turning into these hooks. Oh, crashes the knee through the middle. Then the right hand upstairs. There's a whole minute left here, which is a long time when you're in there and tired. And these guys are fighting at a flat-out pace. Absolutely. This kind of pace does not lend itself for the long haul. I suppose that's the beauty for the fans of having three three-minute rounds. These guys can prepare themselves for an all-out war and know that 
They can last the distance. Young going to the body with the low kicks. God, it's almost like you're waiting for which one's going to land clean first. Just become completely attritional within only five and a half minutes of action. Young crashing the right hook to the body from Southport. Papadopoulos coming back with a high kick, which is blocked. And now Young's turn just to momentarily cover up and absorb a bit of fire from the Greek. Oh, good left hand and right, straight right combination from the Greek, landing solid. Well, you Bum. don't see action like that very often, do you? No, certainly not. Well, has anyone got anything left for round three? Well, Papadopoulos there in his corner, breathing heavily, just got a slightly concerned look in his eyes as he knows he's in a real war and he's having to dig, I think, perhaps deeper than his facial expressions are, are giving away. Left hook there landed from Young in that round and well he got through with some really really stiff shots there was just a moment midway through the round where it looked as if he had him in trouble yeah I've got, I can't help but feel that Papadopoulos is gonna have gained confidence from that round though seeing Young get a little bit more tired uh, is gonna feed him on and make him realize he's got a good good chance here and he was landing some good shots Young just on the flip side, so calm and composed in there. Okay, Corner, away, 10 seconds. It's just another day at the office for him. Well, it does, and it doesn't look like he's been away from the ring for four years. And one of the things he said when he spoke to us earlier this week was, yes, I have been away from competition since 2012, but I haven't been out of training, I haven't been out of the ring. I've been in there teaching, learning, studying fighters. And the knowledge and the experience all part of the parcel that puts together a good fighter and uh, so far so good on his ring return here we go I reckon this is going to be a great round both men have got to go for it here Papadopoulos landed three or four short hooks on the inside clean to the jaw there and Young stood firm yeah he's tough very tough he's caught the leg there the rear leg and through the counter Papadopoulos is willing himself forward I just worry when his hands come loose. He lets his hands go, then come away from his face a bit. It needs to be sharp, it needs to be closed. Well, he's open for the counter, isn't he? Yeah. If Young can find it. So far, he's walking forward, Papadopoulos. He's Oof. not going to need to go looking for him, Jason Young. As you said before, this is literally a war of attrition between these two. Hey, what a nice uppercut got through there from Papadopoulos, Young doesn't seem troubled by it, right hand, left hook, then the low kick, just tit for tat, back and forth, back and forth between these two, and it does seem the impact, full effective work, coming more from the corner of Jason Young as the left hook comes through, lovely shot by Young and a great counter there by Papadopoulos. Wouldn't like to be a judge scoring this. Oh man, it is so back and forward, isn't it? Great to watch though, I love it. Oh man, look at these overhand rights coming in. Big right hooks here from Papadopoulos. Going down to the body as Young answers back with more shots to the head. Well, Young's had to absorb three or four of, I think, the best shots that Papadopoulos could have thrown at him. He telegraphed them a little bit, he put everything into them. And still, the Greek man comes forward. Two thirds of the way through this round now. Who's got anything left in the tank? Nice head movement there from Young. I'd absolutely love to see the, the punch stats at oh. the end of this round. Oh. And a right hook comes from Southport for Jason Young, but he eats a right hand in return too. This is where experience comes in. Well, one thing you can't question for either of these men is their chins. They've taken absolutely everything that the other has got to throw at them so far as Young just working with the teep there, trying to give oh. himself a bit of space as Papadopoulos comes forward again, applying the pressure, trying to get his man to fold, trying to see if there's any weaknesses in fitness that have accumulated over the last three or four years. It doesn't appear to be the case. Young, very much intact, very much oh. in the fight, but Papadopoulos Big comes hand. forward. Right hand has hurt him. Yep, that right hand from Papadopoulos hurt Young. Well, Young on unsteady legs now. Oh, man. A 10-second clapper. Look at these shots being exchanged by both guys, and Young is taking punishment now. 
moving his head well and coming back with hooks of his own in the last few seconds. Whoa, what a fight. What a fight, what a finish for Yanis Papadopoulos who, well, he was up against it in the opening round and two wasn't much better for him, but goodness me, you just have to wonder, were we going into a fourth hit? He would have a real, real advantage. What a finish from a man yeah. that at points looked like he was in trouble. Very strong finish. I think he really gained his confidence, Papadopoulos, in the second round and look at him now. He's feeling good, he knows he felt really good towards the end of that fight and finished really strong. Well, there was a, a crudeness but an effectiveness about his work through the final round. He was throwing a lot into those overhand rights. Look at these shots got through. on the replay now. Papadopoulos, his hands are good. Told you, he made a stir when I was over at KGP2. Seen him fight over Ladies in Greece. And show your appreciation for both men after three hard-fought rounds. And at the end of those three rounds of action, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favour of your winner, fighting out of the blue corner, it's Giannis Papadopoulos. And show your appreciation for our runner-up, Jason Ion. Well, what a fight it was, and it was the terrific late work of Janis Papadopoulos that secured him victory. After a brilliant start for Jason Young, who, well, he's on the comeback trail, and he certainly looks to have all the fundamentals of the fighter that he was, so I'm sure that we'll see him again. And a great, great win for the Greek man there, Janis Papadopoulos, coming overseas to UK shores and securing victory. What a moment for him in front of a terrific crowd here in Janice. the go at the O2. Hey. I think I speak for all these people here. That was all out war, and that is what everybody loves to see at a kickboxing Grand Prix. Really was an amazing fight. First of all, what do you want to say to your opponent who is rock hard? His opponent. Great fight, it's a great fighter. He's uh, very uh, thankful that uh, he fight with him and uh, with the, they give a great fight. He knows what he has done and he, he respects him very much. And he's uh, very thankful about the And how are these English fans here? Do you enjoy fighting in front of them? He really enjoy uh, the fans here and uh, he don't have uh, any problem to fight again here. Uh, this is one of the greatest uh, events in the Europe and uh, he will, will like very much to fight again here. Well, we're welcome here for sure, 100%. Mate, give this guy a big round of applause, all out war here tonight. Love London. Love London. And this guy loves London, well. I've got to talk to his opponent here because we've got much love for you. Jason, this guy, tough as old boots. Yeah, um, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't know I was fighting him until about four days ago. I was actually training for a, a different fighter until I Googled his name. And I see that he throws in volumes and, and he hits hard. Um, I'd like to thank him. Um, obviously, I've been out for four years. My last fight was in the UFC. Um, I'd just like to thank everyone that come and support me down here. Um, <laughs> Today, today, I just want to say one quick thing for everyone to listen. Um, this fight was dedicated to a little 10 year old girl. Her name's Chloe. She's 10 years old and she's got cancer of the bone. And uh, she's on her second go of chemo and, and she's really not well. It's her birthday today. So I'd like to dedicate that fight to her. And I'm giving her. I'm going to give her half of everything I make tonight, just, just, just to her, all of my purse, my ticket sales, half of everything is going straight to her. I want to give her something to look forward to. I'm sending around a couple of donation buckets. So if, if you guys could just make a small donation to her, I'd be much grateful. Thank you, everyone, for coming and watching. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Young, everyone, welcoming back. and. Make sure you give generously to that charity as well.